if we talk about Republican control of the General Assembly, we really have to go back to the Civil War era That's right. and note that up until the end of the Civil War, Republicans weren't even on the ballot. Yeah, that's right. Although the Republican Party uh, you know, uh, was formed in 1854, uh, and Abraham Lincoln was elected in 1860, uh, Abraham Lincoln was not on the ballot in 1860. And that's probably in great part because the Whig Party uh, was still really strong in the state of North Carolina. When it was dying in other states and Whigs were joining the Republican Party, in North Carolina, uh, the Whig Party was still alive, and the Whig Party had candidates in the 1860 election. But either way, Abraham Lincoln wasn't on the ballot in 1860, so uh, North Carolinians couldn't vote Republican until the Reconstruction era. Now, even though Republicans didn't appear on the ballot until uh, after the Civil War, once the Civil War ended, Republicans really did have control of most of state government for a while, right there at the end of the Civil War. They did. Republicans had control of state government for about a four to five year period from 1865 to 1870 when the what was called the Conservative Party or former Democrats regained a lot of power. But in 1868 is when the Republicans had control of both houses of the General Assembly and there was also a Republican governor. So many people are talking today about the first time in 112 years that the Republicans have held uh, power. Uh, you need to really go much farther than that, as you were saying, back into the Reconstruction era, because that's when the Republican Party, in and of itself, without any help from any other political parties or political alliances, that's when the Republican Party had complete control of the General Assembly and the government of North Carolina. 